Relationships with the different instruments, different relationships, but nothing inappropriate, you know, all consenting, you know. I mean, we're, we're all very close. Different instruments inspire you to do different things, you know, inspire you to play differently. The, the feel of the instrument, the sound of the instrument, each instrument embodies a whole different thing, different character, different essence. <laughs> difficult to pick one instrument, you know, one guitar, and have to play that all the time, although that's what I had done for years. Now it's uh, really nice to be able to have more than one guitar. There's all these sounds and textures you can achieve with these different instruments, and they're all friends. It's like, you know, you have different friends who do diff make you feel differently. Yeah. You know, you love all your friends for, because they're who they are. The different instruments bring out different things in you. This is something I'm really excited about. This is the James Trussard Dobro. So James Trussard makes guitars, as you well know, amazing instruments, and this being a, among them, you know, solid steel, all handcrafted here. I'd been thinking about this guitar for years before I actually get my hands on it. This one is made to be played live. You know, like Dobros generally uh, notoriously have feedback issues. This one is a thinner body Dobro and it's optimized for good live playability. You can use either, either pickup individually or you can blend the two of them. This really works out great live because the, you know, the feedback issues are so minimal and the variety and tone options are great. You know. Now this is a, a golden Uptown. This is a great um, hollow body axe that Golden's been making for a few years and these guys, they, they made one for me with a P90 in the neck and the humbucker here by the bridge so I could get my favorite P90 sound and also the humbucker. You know, I pretty much bring this with me everywhere I go. You know, it's just got an amazing sound. I just love the sound. It's warm and, and it's got enough bite and brightness but it's just, it's got some good squeeze to it. You know what I mean? Like it's just got that, I don't know. Kind of going back and forth between the. This instrument is a lapatri made by Godin. You know, I've been playing these lapatris for uh, close to 20 years now. I bought my first one, I think, in 1996. And, I, you know, I went through a few of them. I mean, I would play them pretty much 80% of my gigs I was playing the Lepatri nylon string guitar. I would, you know, play it through distortion, through, through various effects sometimes. Uh, and eventually, of course, I you know, got endorsed by these guys, which made a lot of sense considering how many of these guitars I was going through. But this one they, they made for me, it's the, the uh, Lepatri hybrid. So it's got the, you know, the pickup here in the saddle, but also the microphone inside, so it's a hybrid. You have the two pickups and you can blend those. And one distinction about these Lepatris is they have great pickup systems and they sound great amplified as well as acoustically. You know. This is certainly something to get excited about. This is my first James Trussard guitar, and this is uh, Steelmaster. Yeah, I've had this a few years. I've dragged this around with me quite a bit. They were three Jazzmaster pickups, but now the middle one's a uh, uh, P90. So they, they look the same, but actually the middle one's P90. And you can blend all these. You can either, you know, I can either just go P90 or, or uh, 
singles or I can blend them. There's also this phase uh, switch here. So it's a great variety of tone, great sounding pickups and an amazing variety of tones between this push pull and these three pickups. Really practical guitar on the road for that reason too. Also solid steel top, uh, you know, if you're viewing this and it, it looks like that because it is that it's a solid steel top. And this is like a pine body. Now you see it's, uh, I like that gray coloration. That was beautiful, isn't it? Uh, so that's all pine, pine and steel, basically, and uh, incredibly gr wonderful sounding and feeling instrument and really, like, durable, which is good because I'm pretty abusive when it comes to my guitars. You know, ultimately, it's like, you have an instrument, a tool, something that may enable you to, you know, like express yourself in a way that you never knew possible. Something that could open you up in ways that you would never even imagined. Kids need an outlet, you know, they need an outlet for expression. And I mean, I would say, hey, check this out, man. This might open some doors for you.